Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to the mid-market update from the advisory desk. Uh, firstly, the market opened today in the green, uh, though it was a flattish opening. Uh, not much movement seen after uh, kind of opening. And today, right now, we are down, and the Sensex has given up the gains. Uh, uh, we were at one point of time almost up by 40 points, uh, but then uh, again the selling appeared, and there's no looking at the bottom fishing of the market. And right now, the market is down by almost 35 to 40 points down on the Sensex. So. Again, it has been a kind of a lackluster with a negative bias view for today opening. We saw like Asian markets were mixed uh, after the data which came up on the Friday in the US uh, about the jobs uh, payrolls was very negative. Uh, so even the US markets were down by almost 50 odd points. Uh, so that also took kind of a beating out here in the Asian indices. So, Friends, uh, we kind of seeing some large cap uh, selling, but uh, mid caps and small caps are still holding on. Uh, not that as bad as we used to see earlier in the previous sessions where it got uh, big about a hammering. Um, now, friends, it looks that the market appears that it has kind of factored in uh, the much of the negatives which uh, we are seeing at current levels. Uh, we need to watch out for more cues from global if uh, there is any uh, during this week. And we would have one of the first uh, bellwether, that is IT Infosys, is going to announce its result on this coming Friday. So that would also be kind of uh, a market uh, direction figuring out that whether the IT comes out uh, with a good results on the top line, bottom line part, uh, which needs to be watched out. Uh, uh, friends, investors have turned cautious uh, after the global perspective of the Korean uh, uh, issues, which is there between the North Korea and South Korea. Uh, there's the issue also the political uncertainty in uh, our country as well is taking kind of a very pessimism uh, view in the market. And that's why we are seeing very less volumes uh, today as it's we are looking kind of uh, a no directionless market. And Nifty is currently trading comfortably below the 200 day moving average, which is 5641. So it's like right now at 55, 53, 55, 55. So that's again a kind of a big drag uh, on the trader's mind as well. Uh, coming back to the main laggards are Indapad Gas, Jubilant Foodward, XI, Renbaxi, uh, and Ipka Labs, which are down by almost uh, one and a half to two and a half percent uh, on the daily basis. Uh, Coming back uh, to the Maruti stock, which is in news, it's been kind of, uh, it may be penalized uh, to the tune of 3,500 crores. Uh, that stock uh, is down almost by a percent, one and a half to two percent. So that's kind of uh, a weakness we've seen in uh, the Maruti stock after a long time. Uh, Friends, Tata Motors is up 1.5% after JLR report as Stellar numbers. Uh, it's been a best record ever month, uh, uh, up 20% via Y basis. So, so that stock is doing good. Bharti Airtel is taking a breather and is up by almost 2% uh, after uh, Mittal uh, went to the Supreme Court to overturn uh, the High Court's order of spectrum uh, excess spectrum allocation corruption case. Uh, Jindal Steel and Power is uh, kind of down almost one and a half to two percent uh, after they said they have pledged the shares to the Singapore unit of credit Swiss. Uh, so kind of uh, mixed uh, bag of that. Uh, the, the part which is taking care of is Reliance uh, TVS Motors. So we are seeing uh, Reliance Industries. Uh, uh, that those stocks are in the green and taking uh, managing the uh, Nifty Sensex. Uh, Friends, coming back uh, to the Forex 54.80, 54.85 is the rupee against the US dollar. Uh, foreign funds have uh, kind of last week sold off almost to the tune of 900 crores. Uh, that's why we saw kind of nifty uh, taking a big beating uh, in the percentage terms. Friends, that's all the news and updates we have. Uh, we'll get back to you more in post market. Thank you.